not been here for many long years, but I remember the way to Karaskalothan, tree city of the elves. Elves! Be at ease. I am Haldir of Lorien. I have been following you for some time. You breathe so loud, I could shoot you in the dark. Huh? Have no fear. The Lady Galadriel is expecting you. But the dwarf is not permitted on our land. But Elrond chose him. He's brave and faithful. Very well. But he must travel blindfolded. I am no spy. I will not walk blind like a prisoner. My people do not serve the enemy. This is our law. I will go forward free. A plague on dwarves and their stiff necks. Hold. We will all go blindfolded. <laughs> mm. A merry troop of fools we shall look. I will be content if Legolas shares my blindness. But I am an elf. I am a kinsman here. Shall we say a plague on elves and their stiff necks? The company shall all fare alike. Bind us all, Haldir. So be it. I shall lead you safely to Karos Galothan, where Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel await you. Gandalf the Grey set out with your company. Where is he now? Alas, Lady. Gandalf fell into shadow. He did not escape Moria. In all the long years full of grievous tidings, these are the most evil. When escape seemed beyond us, he saved us, and he fell. We will hear the tale another day, for you are weary and heart sick. We will do what we can to help you, especially the one who bears the burden. Your quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray even a little, and it will fail to the ruin of all. Yet, hope remains while all the fellowship is true. Rest, and we will not speak of the road ahead for a while. Welcome back to my Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring Let's Play. Let's get right into it. I believe this is a uh, shorter uh, mission, by the way. We will not speak of the road ahead for a while. Your quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray even a little, and it will fail to the ruin of all. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna walk around and talk to people. I've never seen too much beauty. Sure this elvish lady and her purposes. The Lady Galadriel. It surprises me to say this, but she is fair beyond belief. Indeed, there is no one fairer in any land. Mm. Did you try these elven delicacies? I've never tasted anything like it. Imagine spending thousands of years perfecting your recipes. To think, Frodo, all of this, built in and upon great trees, it's marvelous, truly marvelous. I wonder if I shall see any elf magic while we're here. The elves sing a lament for Gandalf. I share their grief. There is no evil in this land or its people, unless a man brings it here himself. All right, I believe that is everyone to talk to in this room at least. Here is the mirror of Galadriel. I have brought you here to look in it, if you will. What will we see? Things you desire to see, and things unbidden. Things that were, are, and may yet be. I'll have a peek. There's only stars. Wait, what? it's Ted Sandyman cutting down all our trees. I'll cut him down. Oh, devilry. They dug a bagshot row. They've run off my old gaffer. I have to go to the Shire. Would you turn from Frodo's quest? No. Do you wish to look now, Frodo? I will look. I see a land in shadows and an old man walking toward me. Gandalf? No. White robes. Saruman? There's the sea. A tall ship from the west and a white fortress. With seven towers, another ship, with black sails, and the emblem of a white tree, I see a great battle, and an eye, ringed with fire. I know what you saw, for it is in my mind as well. 
But the enemy cannot hurt you here. This land is not preserved merely by singing or arrows. Behold, Nenya, the Ring of Adamant. A ring Sauron cannot rule unless you fail, and he gains the ring. We would be laid bare before him, yet, if you succeed, my power will diminish, and Lothlorien will fade. Which do you choose, lady? My love for my people is deeper than the sea, yet I would cast it all away rather than submit to Sauron. I wish you to destroy the ring. I would give you the ring. If you ask for it, you would give me the ring freely? In place of the Dark Lord, you would set up a queen, and I shall not be dark, but beautiful and terrible as the morning and the night. All shall love me and despair! No, I pass the test. I will diminish and go into the West, and remain Galadriel. Lady Galadriel? You wear one of the rings of power. When I wear the one ring, why can't I see into your mind or the minds of others? Because you have not tried. But I warn you not to. You would have to become far stronger and train your will to the domination of others. And then you would lose the one virtue that makes you more able to resist the ring than any of the wise and powerful. We will not speak more of it. Let us go. The next day we said farewell to Lorien. Celeborn and Galadriel gave us boats at Elven Make, and we set out on the Great River Anduin toward Mordor. Alright, that'll do it for this episode. I know that was quick and not really much gameplay, but that does count as a level, so that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.